Well, look at this. It says a piece of pie in Barbados. Costs a dollar twenty-five. Oh, and a piece of uh, pie in the Bahamas costs a buck seventy-five. Yeah, those are the pie rates of the Caribbean. Why are you telling me the pie rates? The pie rates of the Caribbean. Arg, matey. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Wah, wah, wah. No, actually, that was a good one. I'll give you credit for that. Well, you see me sitting in the car, so you know <laughs> that must mean that it is a Dollar Tree haul time. Hey, everybody, it shall be with a Chick Plus 3 welcome. Yes, I am on my lunch break, and yes, I am bringing you a brand new Dollar Tree haul today for this next episode of vlogtober i am having so much fun doing vlogtober it is a whirlwind but you guys are giving me great feedback so i am so happy to be doing this but i'm not going to waste any more time because my lunch hour clock is a ticking and i got a haul to get to and then after the haul we of course have some vlogtober fun that I will be adding to the end of this haul. So we're going to jump right into it. What do you say? Let's go. where I want to start. I have something that is really awesome and it's like, do I save it till the end to build suspense? But then I'm afraid that my lunch break will be over and I'll have to go inside and I would have never shared it. So I'm thinking I probably need to share it first, right? Oh, it just makes me so happy happy. Wait until you see what I have here. Look at this. Can you believe this box? I mean, is it just fabulous or what? Now inside it's solid red and I gotta tell you guys, the size of this box is perfect for CDs. Now, yes, maybe I'm a dinosaur and you all just like stream your music now and don't listen to CDs, but Bill and I listen to CDs and we have a whole collection of Christmas CDs. So I am going to put them in this awesome gnome box that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I mean, just how adorable is this box? I'm so so happy. I just was, I don't know. I love the traditional Dollar Tree items and when they come out with a new design or pattern, it just makes me smile. And another product that makes me smile is this. This is the Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa. Um, that is what I'm getting used to calling it because that's what my grands call it. Of course, growing up outside of Boston, we always called this hot chocolate, whether it was the fancy like kind made in a bakery shop that really tasted like melted chocolate or if it was this powder mix, it was all called hot chocolate. But in any case, this actually says hot cocoa on the box, so that's what I'll call it. One envelope is 90 calories, and you do get six envelopes in here. My Dollar Tree always has this. This is the one with the mini marshmallows, and they also have the one without the marshmallows. But I'm wondering, guys, now that everything is $1.25, is that still a good price point, or should I be looking for this elsewhere? But, um... We needed it. It's the time of year that we go through a ton of hot cocoa. So, of course, I was at the Dollar Tree because you all know I'm constantly at the Dollar Tree. And this was sitting there right boom when I walked in the door of one of my favorite Dollar Trees. So I picked it up. 
All right, now this I just had to get, and I actually bought one of these last year, and so I was pleased to see it out again, and my grandkids have so much fun with this, and it is this spooky sticker face book, because guys, look at this. So do you see this? You get these blank faces, okay, and then you get these sticker sheets of all of the like eyes and noses and so uh, you just create your own face so it is a lot of fun and I want to show you there is a second full sticker sheet so you get two of these really big sheets of stickers and then these fun little faces the witch the cat look at this a mummy a spider, a little bit of everything. So this is really a nice book. The quality of it is good. I feel like it's definitely worth the $1.25. It is distributed by Benden Incorporated. Um, it is made in the USA. So a really fun little Halloween product that makes a great little treat. Hey, I'm an adult and I enjoy doing this too. And I love to have little projects that I can do with my grands that are as entertaining for me as they are for them. All right, now this I picked up because we are definitely in cold and flu season here in upstate New York. And I have purchased these in the past and I have to tell you they work. This is the IIF 60 second digital thermometer. It is a mouth thermometer. Um, I mean, for $1.25, you cannot beat it. And you know, when you need a thermometer, you need a thermometer. You don't want to have to be running out to the store to get it when you're not feeling well or somebody at home is not feeling well. So this is what it looks like inside this little window is nice and big easy to read um, as I say we've got a couple of these already I feel like the accuracy is really good in them so I purchased another one to give to a family member so the next time they're feeling a little under the weather and they need to check their temperature they'll have the proper tool to do that all right, work is over. I am headed home. I am going to get Bill and the crew, and we are headed off on a really fun Halloween adventure. And of course, being Vlogtober, guess what? You get to come with us. So don't go anyplace because here comes more fun. Well, happy Vlogtober, guys. Here it is in the night. We are out. We're going to see, I guess, a whole bunch of lit jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm really excited. What Our, do you think? I think this is great. One of the better things about Halloween is a, a park filled with carved pumpkins. Yeah, it is freezing out, though. So we got our winter coats on, but we're not going to let the cold stop us. So... We're going to, of course, take you guys along with us. So what do you say? Let's go.
For joining us. We will be back tomorrow. And remember, my friends, until then, please be well.